guys, this is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel, The Retro Farmhouse. If you're new here, consider subscribing as well as hitting the like button to this video. Today's video um, came from some inspiration. Uh, my neighbor was actually getting rid of some windows. Her husband had found some windows from somebody who was actually going to be throwing those in the trash. And they're really old, um, the old style wood pane windows. Um, and I thought, you know, I could probably take those and do something with them. I know there's a lot of people that do projects with um, old windows. So I'm actually um, sitting in front of the project here today. Um, so I knew that uh, I wanted to repurpose these. I had a couple of them, um, some of them that were definitely similar um, and had a little bit of a slight difference, but I knew that I could do something with those. So this project was a little bit challenging. Um, I think when I first started doing the project, I wasn't really aware or maybe um, could think about that, you know, windows, old windows aren't always square. So um, I did have a little bit of um, uh, challenges with this project, as you'll see as I get into the video. But I think it turned out pretty well and I really love the end result. So we're going to dive right in today and I'm going to show you how I repurpose those. So let's get into working on today's project. So the first step I'm going to do with my windows here is, even though I love like the chippy paint, I just don't know how old these windows are, if there's any kind of lead paint in them or anything like that. So I'm wanting to um, go ahead and give these a good washing with just some soap and water and a scrub brush just to get all of the um, filth and everything that's been on there for years off. And then um, I'm probably going to tr try to apply like a paint stripper um, to get most of this paint off and just sand that really well because I want to get down to the bare wood. So here I'm just using some soap and water with a toothbrush and a hard bristle brush um, to help get those extra paint chips off as well as just a little um, utility scraper. This really helped to get some of the um, layers off, especially um, with the ones that were already chipping. If you look real closely right here, you'll see um, I'm also taking off the old glazing that is on this window. This um, isn't really needed anymore. It's basically just used to weatherize the windows and that's not really something that I need. So I'm also removing that as well. So I have scraped as much as I can um, off of these windows. Next up, I'm going to use this citrus strip um, paint and varnish stripping gel. Um, I've used this um, several times before on other projects. I kind of like this one because it's not... Um, so harsh as far as fumes or anything like that and you just kind of apply it on with a brush and leave it at least 30 minutes and you'll start to see like the paint bubble up and then you can scrape it off and usually the longer you leave it um, you know the easier it is to take that off so I'm going to apply this to my paint areas here and we'll go ahead and um, let that sit for a while so I've let this sit for at least 30 minutes and I've already kind of tested a spot um, and as you can see, like it's coming up pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to have to do another layer here um, just to get this other layer because I think this has actually been painted about two times. Um, sometimes you do have to do a couple um, applications just to get all of the paint off. But for the most part, it's working pretty well. I picked up some wood from my local hardware store and I've cut that down to the length and height of both of my windows so that I know how um, far to put my doors. And I'm just applying some wood screws in here, um, dr drilling some pilot holes first and then just applying screws to my shelving piece and both of my side pieces. I also want to mention that I am adding some wood glue to all of my pieces as well before I secure the screws in. This just acts as a little bit extra strength to make sure that my pieces are connected well together. Next, I'm going to use some Min Wax in the Early American Stain. I love this stain. It's like one of my favorite go-tos. And I just want to add um, some stain onto my windows and then over the majority of my piece because I'm going to be painting um, some of my um, areas here. And when I distress it back, I want a little bit of the dark to show through. I did end up applying about two coats of my stain and let it dry um, really well in between. Because I didn't want my... Um, windows to like catch on the bottom and I wanted to bring them up a little bit off the ground I went ahead and applied this I think it's like a one and a half by a half um, strip down at the bottom here and just secured that with some wood glue and some finishing nails next I'm using my milk paint it's from the sweet pickens um, paint line 
and it's in Sweetie Jane. And I'm just kind of using this to apply to the sides and to the front of my windows. I already um, did a piece in this color um, and I just kind of love this color. It's kind of a muted mint green and it's really easy to mix up. It's non-toxic. You just mix it with some water. It comes in a powdered form and I'll put a link below um, where I got this paint from in case you're interested. They make all kinds of paint colors and I really just love this. It's a great paint. Um, that can get really chippy and it distresses really well if you're kind of looking for that type of look. Next, I'm taking some leftover beadboard panels that I had, and I cut those down to the width of the back part of my shelf. And I'm just applying just some white cream type paint I had on hand. This is just something I've used in my house before. Um, but I'm applying two coats to the back side of this because this is gonna be the back panel that I'm gonna attach here. Next, I'm just taking a medium grit sandpaper and I'm distressing some of the paint off, just making it more smooth, but also making it more of that weathered worn look. Here's where I will probably say this project got a little challenging is applying the doors. Um, I didn't realize till a little bit later that my doors are not exactly square. My other project was, but I recommend what I did was just um, drill my holes for the side piece first and then also the door. So what I did was I applied both of them and just sat them down flat so that I kind of knew where to adjust them and just marked with a pencil. And um, you see here, um, my husband is helping me apply these uh, windows. They're kind of hard to do by yourself, but this works um, pretty well. And then uh, after that, I ended up just applying some hardware that I got from Lowe's. I love these little doorknobs. They remind me of um, a vintage type hardware. And here's how today's projects turned out. I put some of my vintage type items on this just for some staging purposes, but you can definitely use this um, for a lot of different um, items. I'm gonna be using it for a bookshelf, but I really love how this turned out. I love the little chippy paint that it adds on there. I did end up as a last step um, that I didn't video here, putting some of my um, clear wax over this and buffing that out just so that it gives it more of a protective layer. And I'll put a link below of the one that I use, but I just love the little brass slash gold accent hardware that I have on here. And it's really a nice little storage space and a good way to reuse any type of old windows. I hope you guys liked today's project. I really enjoyed making this um, vintage type cabinet out of these old wood uh, windows and definitely giving that repurpose and new life so that I could use that in my home. I hope it gives you inspiration to be looking around for some of those things that you can repurpose and reuse. Don't forget to hit the like button as well as share the video and also subscribe as this really helps support my channel. Thanks again for joining us this week and uh, tune in next time for some more DIYs. See you guys again next time.